It was a familiar sight that conjured up memories of the glory days. It was an event that even on a chilly evening brought back warm recollections, and it was the type of scene that's become all too infrequent over the last two years as far as the San Francisco Giants are concerned. When Madison Bumgarner straps up his boots and lifts the Giants on his back, they'll go along for the ride. They went for a long one in Thursday's 3-0 win over the Padres, and it was a sight to behold. The left-hander turned in his best outing since he blanked the New York Mets in the 2016 wildcard game, hurling eight innings of shutout ball and driving in the Giants' first run of the game in a Herculean effort that proved he still belongs among the sports elite. Before rejoining the rotation at the beginning of June, Bumgarner missed the first two months of the with a fractured pinky, an injury that robbed the Giants of their best pitcher and prevented the left-hander from carrying over the impressive form he showcased throughout spring training. His presence was so desperately missed that the Giants trashed a plan for three to four rehab starts and instead brought Bumgarner back after two dominant outings against minor league hitters. While the Giants benefited from having an established veteran back in the rotation, his first three starts did little to quell concerns that Bumgarner might not be the same. That changed against San Diego. With a steady diet of cutters and curveballs, Bumgarner carved up to the Padres lineup by inducing a combination of weak contact and whiffs that did little to threaten the Giants' defense. Bumgarner tallied eight strikeouts, including a first-inning punch-out of Padres first baseman Eric Hosmer in their first meeting since Bumgarner sent Hosmer packing with a strikeout to lead off the ninth inning of Game 7 of the 2014 World Series. Though Bumgarner's performance was a clear improvement from his first three starts, the Giants' offense performed much like it did in the lefties' earlier outings. After failing to support their starter in a 3-2 loss to Arizona on June 5, the Giants managed just one run in a 3-1 defeat in Los Angeles on June 16. Against San Diego, Bumgarner took matters into his own hands with a sacrifice fly to drive in Pablo Sandoval in the bottom of the fifth inning to push the Giants ahead 1-0. The Padres' best opportunity against Bumgarner came in the top of that frame when Freddy Galvis followed a Jose Perella single with an opposite field double to the right field wall. Galvis cruised into second base, but Perella sprinted right past third base coach Glenn Hoffman's stop sign. Instead of safely reaching his destination, Perella was run off the road by catcher Buster Posey who collected a relay throw and lunged to sideswipe the Padres' second baseman. The relay from Andrew McCutcheon to Joe Panic to Posey started with a barehanded grab by the Giants' right fielder and culminated with a successful tag from Posey that helped McCutcheon collect his team leading fourth outfield assist of the year. Perella's gamble wound up aiding Bumgarner, who intentionally walked AJ Ellis before fanning pitcher Tyson Ross to end the inning. Though the Giants scored just one run in their first seven innings, left fielder Alan Hansen launched a lead-off triple into the right field corner in the eighth inning and scored on a Posey single. Posey added to the edge later in the frame when Perella dropped a Sandoval pop-up that led to the Giants' third and final run. Bumgarner's night ended with exactly 100 pitches through eight innings of three-hit ball as the Giants turned to Mark Melanson to finish off the shutout. Exactly 366 days after recording his last save for San Francisco, the right-hander who received a four-year, $62 million deal to serve as the Giants' closer after the 2016 got the final three outs to pick up his first save of the With a third straight win Thursday, the Giants climbed back to .500 and maintained their four-game deficit in the National League West behind the Diamondbacks. S-A-M-A-R-D-Z-I-J-A makes rehab start right-hander Jeff Samardzia threw 73 pitches over four innings for AAA Sacramento Thursday and could rejoin the Giants' rotation as soon as next week. Samardzia allowed four hits and two earned runs but D-I-D-N-T issue any free passes and racked up seven strikeouts. Giants skipper Bruce Bocci said the club would decide whether to have Sam Ardzia rejoin the rotation or send him out for an additional rehab start after Thursday's contest.